and he is 27 and 6 in NHB competition. He is 5'11 and weighs 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Ronald the Machine Gun John. The Machine Gun, Ronald Chun, coming from Honolulu, Hawaii, representing the 808, coming from the 808 Fight Factory. Now, this man has some hands. He has pro boxing speed in his hands. He can knock someone out at any moment. You look at his record, he's beaten Shannon Ridge. He lost to Jermaine Andre in a very, very close fight, but he also had a draw with his competitor tonight, Shoney Carter, over in Hawaiian Super Brawl. So this is a rematch and a very interesting one at that. Ronald's a tough hombre, I'll tell you, man. It's tough growing up over there on the Hawaiian Islands. It's beautiful over there, but those people are tough. They don't put up with any crap. He will fight at the drop of the coconut. <laughs> Ronald Judd wants that welterweight title, and he's going to go for the KO against Mr. International. King of the cage ring, girls. Yeah, but can they use a shovel? I don't know that. I got horses, you know. <laughs> to clean up after them. How's their performance on the farm? Yeah, beauty face. It's how, how good is their back? Well, we talk to animals here. <laughs> He looks like he means business tonight. Some great nights of fights. A beautiful new arena here, the Orleans Arena. Brand new facility. Perfect for King of the Cage, Sin City. Yeah, it's a great event to break this arena in. You protect yourself at all times. If you can't stop physically, do it verbally. Do it loud so I can hear you. Stop that feds. Protect yourself even after the bell. When I say break, you break. You got any questions? No. Good luck to you. OK, corner, watch your walk. And now introducing his opponent, fighting and representing the Windy City of Chicago, Illinois. His background is in Shidokan, Combat Do Jiu Jitsu, as well as Catch Wrestling. He is 62, 7 and 7 in NHB competition. He is 5'9 and weighs 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. International himself, Shoney Carter. Chicago's own Shoney Carter. He calls himself Mr. International. This man fights in every aspect that you could imagine. He fights Shidokan. He fights in jiu-jitsu tournaments, wrestling tournaments, karate tournaments, mixed martial arts. There's nothing that this man doesn't compete in. You know, I can pronounce uh, wrestling and boxing, but the rest of the stuff that he's good at, I can't pronounce it. He definitely has an extensive history of fighting. Now, I saw him fight a couple months ago against Jeremy Jackson in a losing effort that was a decision. Jeremy Jackson's an incredible fighter, and Shoney Carter showed his valor, taking a lot of punches, but staying up on his feet and fighting hard until the end. Expect a great match with Ronald Jun. Once again, this fight for the welterweight title and a rematch between these two, so a lot is on the line. Well, you know Shoney's tough being from Chicago, Illinois. That's a, that's a tough place to grow up from. Shoney is the champion. So, yeah, I don't think you're going to see what you saw in the last fight. No, I expect this one to go a little longer. This is going to be a brawl. A lot of big-name opponents have been in the ring, along with Shoney Carter, Dave Manet, Pat Milicic, Steve Berger, Brad Gum. Jeremy Jackson, Ronald Jun, Jay Buck, Matt Sarah. The list goes on and on. And he's running his favorite cup from the last, from the last event, his huge Muay Thai cup. Shoney Carter told me he likes to make a statement with that cup. He wants everyone to know. <laughs> That's a hell of a cup. Kind of like a red Corvette. <laughs> okay, guys, obey my command. Have a good, clean fight. Break when I say break. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Shake hands, good luck. If you get dirty, you always uh, bathe in that cup. Here comes the tail yeah. of the tape. Ronald John, 5'11", 170. He's 27, 6 0. While Sony Carter, 5'10, right. the same weight, 170, 64, 7 and 7.
Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's rock and roll, let's go. The King in the Cage welterweight title is on the line. The Machine Gun and Mr. International. Shawnee starting out there, you know, a southpaw. Straight from the kick. Now, a southpaw against a traditional right-handed boxer. So there'd be a lot of lead leg kicks. Nice left hook. Shoney dodging, getting the underhooks, looking for the takedown possibly. That control picking him up off his feet, off the ground, spinning around, right on top. Beautiful takedown. Shoney using those underhooks to his advantage. Don't All right, going right into the guard. Now he's going to look to pass the guard again to the mount position. I'd imagine. When he comes up to pop, push our legs in. Good upward strike from Ronald John with that left forearm. Yeah, Ronald's gonna move his hips. You get on that bottom position, you're gonna work your hips. You can't just leave him flat on the mat. Just, uh, does Shoney like to ground and pound down? Uh, I think Shoney likes anything. <laughs> Shoney is a, a well-rounded fighter. He can strike, but he does have a lot of ground experience. Yeah, the fights I've seen, he's done a lot of ground and pound. Shoney just likes to fight. Likes to be in control. He's definitely in control right now. There you go, little scratch on the eye, Ronald. Up and up, Ronald. Up and up. Up, 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 up. Ronald Jones doing his best to escape. However, Shoney Carter keeping control on top. Keep the knees Shoney up. maintaining that position. Good forearm elbow strike up to. Good switch. Now they traded positions. Great bridge from Ronald Judd. Now he's on top in the half guard or butterfly guard. Shoney Carter. Yep, Shoney forces him guard. into his guard right position. There, right there, right there. Okay, right there. Shoulder okay. strike okay. from Ronald Judd. Elbow. Now it's to Ronald's Elbow. advantage to keep him side. pushed against the cage. Yeah, that yeah, helps. You know, that, that cage is an extension of the floor. And if you know how to work that wall, yeah, this guy's going to do it. Shoney trying to control Ronald John either long enough for the referee to stand them back up or to wait for that mistake and escape with the bridge. Right, if he could just neutralize Ronald for 15 seconds, the referee will clear him back up. Ronald's going to pin against there. Carter's got, there. Carter's got a little bit of blood coming out of the right nostril. Ronald's got a little cut underneath the eye. Watch out. He's keeping him against that cage. He can't get out of him against him against that cage. He's got some good strength. Good against there. Absolutely. Popping with his elbow. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's Again, again, again. Those, short, those short strikes will take it out of you at the bottom. Don't feel good. 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 Both these guys are so strong. It's hard for one guy to get the advantage over the other. He's on top of that thigh. He gives a slide right over. Ronald John delivering a couple good rights hands to the face of Mr. International. Hey, he's showing Shoney that he came here to fight. Yeah, keep it right there. Not right one minute. Right That's what we want to Both of these guys have a lot of experience, very tough characters. Head in the chin, head in the chin, drive the head forward. There we go. Shun trying to pass that leg and get into the half guard. Right side's open. Right, right side's open, Rock. It's real hard for either one of these guys to get the advantage. Square, square, right hand. Yeah, well, Shoney's doing a good job keeping the passing guard. Yeah, I tell you, um, the cage was there, he had a better opportunity to roll him over. Crowd gets a little bit short. Nice shots. Four good right hands from Ronald John. Now He's a left. Shoulder smack, shoulder smack, shoulder smack. Shoulder smack, left back, shoulder smack. Those are good, those are good. Left side field, right side That changed side the crowd's opinion right, about the fight. They were both in the line of their chairs. Left side field, right side bottom. Now we can keep our leverage. Now we can keep our leverage. He's definitely doing a good job keeping him getting past his guard. Final seconds of the first round of this welterweight title match. Right side, left side, elbow cross. Left side, elbow cross. Left side, elbow cross, one. Stop. Break 
strike easy. That's a great first round between these two guys. This is a long fight, only round one is done. You know, right now we are joined by pro bodybuilding's well-known Craig Titus. My pleasure, pleasure to be here. What do you think, the fight's going on so far? Uh, we, we need to ask you about your fight coming up. Oh, I'm a definite fight fan. I want to get King Kamali in this cage. Uh, the only thing stopped us been fighting lately is our contracts, our nutritional contracts doesn't allow us to do that, but now that we can get him in, we get in the cage, I can do it legally. And you took six at the Olympia, correct? I was 11th in the Olympia. I'm ranked number 10 in the world right now, and six at the Arnold Classic. As a matter of fact, I met you at the Arnold Classic yeah, that year. years ago. Aging me here. I could look like you, but cut That's into my eating yeah. and my uh, golfing time. It'd be kind of, it, it's a little hard to fight when you put on that much muscle, you know? Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> but uh, these guys really impress me. Their endurance and stamina while they do this is unbelievable. People don't realize how much energy it takes to do this. Well, we're definitely thankful, Craig, if you have a chance to join us and check out the fights. Getting ready for round two of this welterweight title fight between Ronald Judd and Shoney Carter. Let's rock and roll, let's go. Here we go. Now, Don, I'll tell you what. Shoney Carter is one of the only people I've seen use karate in his fights and actually, actually be successful with it, yeah. That was a good kick. It was a little loud. And the reason it was loud, he cut the cup. Okay, that's one. Time out. Time to take a breather. I'm gonna get a point on that, okay? We're right. checking out the I'll replay. Shoney Carter point on that. kicking straight to the groin of Ronald Judd. Ronald immediately reacts. Okay, now he is given five minutes by the state of Nevada to recover. If he's smart, he can take every one of those needed. five minutes. So I'll tell you, there's no reason to rush back in there. there. Yes, I did. Sit yeah, there's no reason for Ronald Jun to hurry back in. He doesn't ready. have anything to prove. He's an accomplished fighter. He can take all the time he wants. He's earned it. Right, he's got five minutes. He's got to utilize every one of those seconds. Jump up. Make sure you get it. Uh, Shoney didn't do that intentionally, but, you know, you take a green shot. It doesn't matter whether it's an intentional or an accident. It still hurts the same. Yeah, Shoney's a great sportsman. He would never do that on purpose. These things happen in fights. It is a fight. Left. Right. How much time left? Take the breather and use it. So the second round of this welterweight title fight put on hold temporarily as Ronald Jun recovers from the groin kick of Shoney Carter. The only bad thing about uh, the injured guy taking the timeout is it gives the uninjured guy the same amount of time. Are you sure? Okay, over here. Okay, he just got penalized. Be careful, watch that kick. Shoney Carter is going to be penalized a point, as you heard Larry Landless say. Careful. If the whole fight goes like the first round, that, that one point's going to affect you. In a close match, that one point can make the difference. Remember, this is a five-round fight, a championship fight here. 25 minutes. Oh, big shots, Don. Good, solid, good, solid hits. Good, solid hits. Huge overhand right from Ronald Chun. These guys got good chins to be able to award something like that. Saw the look of terror in Ronald Judd's eyes coming in swinging hard with bad intentions. And then fully committed on that kick was a good thing because uh, it would have been a lot of wasted energy. A nice low kick there from Tony Carter to the lead leg of the machine gun. So hard to fight those southpaws. Kind of drown those guys at first. It's a good thing you're never at a loss for an opinion, Don. Uh, I have an opinion. Just ask my wife. She'll tell you what it is. Get those kicks up. Get those kicks up. Back hand, back hand. Whoa. I think Shoney was stunned. He came in and ate a punch to Ronald John. He ate a good left hook. He stepped back for a second. Now going for a single leg. So far, Ronald John doing a good job, Don. I tell you, Ron was doing a good job. He got to take it down. These guys are hitting hard. They're hitting hard stand. They're hitting hard on the ground. Don't let that 170 pounds fool you. These guys have plenty of wallets in those punches. Fighting for position again. Going for an arm bar. 
Great hit movement from Ronald Judd. Turning to the side, looking for an arm bar. I don't think you're going to catch Shoney in that. He's got too much experience. He's been in too many fights. He's been in that position for any time. John does stay busy from the ground, though. He does not wait. He continually strikes from the bottom. Keeps those hips moving. He wants to get it back to his feet. Right. He needs to spin around and get, get his head out of that cage. Then he'll be able to use that foot to push off. Let's go. Larry Landless encouraging these fighters to keep it moving. Crowd has no reason to get bored with this. These guys are beating hard. There's not a slow time in there. This way. Again. Taking those small shots. Small elbows. Kick it off and go. Kick it off and go. Yeah, I'll go inside this way. Inside. Inside 90. Shoney taking his time. Not committing too much. Not want to make a mistake against Ronald John because the machine gun will capitalize. Ronald's almost spun out of that. Shoney coming around and got right back into the guard position. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Watch fingers. And he pinned against right now, the cage. Use that set to bang the elbow. A dangerous position, but using his hips once again. And Ronald's smart. He keeps getting away from the cage. Keeps his head out of that cage. You see fighters get their heads caught in the cage, get pressed against. Again, bang inside again. That's how you make cage control. They can't do anything, and then they just quit. This guy won't allow that to happen. He's spinning it out, keeping his head off the cage. Shoney seems very methodical in his attack on the ground to pound. Let's go. Use the position. Shoney's going by his playbook. He's not in a hurry. He Ron, knows he's got five rounds. Fight. He's got. This is the out. second round. He's got three more to go. Ron, bang the he's not going to burn his energy up, out. Up and out. Up and out. Shoney trying to pass that guard. Shoney does have a cut. I believe his nose is bleeding. Both these guys have cuts. Shoney passing the guard now into the side mount. Uh, he's only got a minute to work it, so he better get after it. Now's the time to put, it, put, put the pedal to the metal. Now, for those of you fans who are watching who aren't very familiar with Nick's mixed martial arts, Shoney just passing to the side mount, and that is a definite disadvantage for Ronald John on the bottom. Right, but Ronald's got great hips. He got Shoney right back into the half guard. He got him into the guard. Using those hips great. You can't need the face on the bottom, June. You cannot need the face on the bottom. Now, Ronald John is on his back. He wants to keep Shoney in his guard or between his legs to somewhat control him. Right, you see he's got his right foot in Shoney's hips. He's going to try and elevate him, throw him over. His press gets the fence, so he's going to be able to do that. Up and out, 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 up, up, These guys have great ringmanship. They're both great athletes, too. You know, Shoney knows exactly where he's at in the ring at all times. Shoney passing for the back now. Stop. Round two over. Some ground and pound now the other way. Shoney Carter on top of that round. Yeah, that was a great, great job. Wasn't it wasn't your basic ground and pound? There's a lot of technique involved in this one. Okay, good thing that in mind. They're check, checking the cuts of both fighters. Um, doesn't okay. seem like there's any hey, big deal. Uh, okay. Doctors that were too two interested rounds, in. Get on top of the fight okay. Now, when we there are cuts the done, the doctors are primarily looking for too much blood in the eye to impair the vision, or a bloody nose where there's enough blood going down your throat that causes the, the fighter to choke, correct? Right, right. That's, uh, you can tell that's not the situation here. They just have little small scrapes. These two welter warriors. Welterweight Warriors getting set for round three of a championship fight here in King of the Cage, Sin City. Great condition athletes. You still, um, at the end of the one minute, they, neither one of them are breathing hard. So they got their heart rate back down within one minute. Definitely a good sign of cardio. Shorty exposed his head a little bit right there. Dropped his, dropped his right. Now Ron, oh! Great hips. He's got great hips. Ronald had the underhooks, went for the takedown, but Shoney. Shoney spun out of it right there at the end. He has such a great ring presence. Spun it around, ended up on top in the guard of the machine gun, Ronald Jim. Hey, whoa, get up, get up, get up. So pass the guard. Up and out, up and out. 
Throws a great hip, puts him right back into it. Ronald cannot afford to spend another round on his back like this. He needs to escape. Well, you know, Shoney is the champion. And the thing is, when you're a championship fight, you've got to defeat the champion. Because the decision, because the decision goes to the champion. And you've got to knock him out. Pin up against the fence, working him hard. Right here in front of us, these two fighters are Eric Apple and Don Fry watching a big slam from switch. Ronald Gunn. These guys keep getting one thing, then the other guy will get it. They're just switching positions. Back and forth battle, a seesaw fight. Looks like both each guy stole the other opponent, the opponent's playbook. <laughs> both these fighters very patient. Waiting for the opportunity to opportunity to present itself. These guys are working hard. Possibly another slam. Hey, Tony, guy, you can't hold out a fence. Let's go. Tony got a little bit of a defense. Larry Lamb is warning him again. Tony's got a little bit of swelling on the right side of his head. A little bit of a monkey punch. Yeah, I think yeah. like he might have busted his blood vessel. He needs to press the attack because that thing will swell up. That'll make the doctors nervous. Great action for us. We're about two feet away from these two fighters up against the cage. Ronald Judge trying to lay down Shelly Carter. I just hope this, this cage holds. They're going to be right here in our lap. Let's go, John. You got to use the ball. Both these fighters are looking, but I imagine. The crowd's going to be getting very, very restless soon. Yeah, they're, they're actually fighting real good, but the crowd can't see them from their position. We got, we got a great view. This is a physical chess match between, between these two World Tour Warriors. Shoney's trying to get an arm bar right now. He cut loose. They're trying to get the escaper in reversal. Look at that. Shoney wanted to return the, flame, the favor with the slam. Great hit. Great hit to Ronald. He did exactly what Shoney did earlier. Now, he's in the mount. Shoney Carter is in big trouble. He needs to reverse the position. You cannot stay mounted like this. These guys are just mirror images of each other. One guy does something the other guy does. Shoney got slammed earlier. He wanted to return the favor. He always wanted to, but sometimes you're not able to. But Shoney, Shoney was able to. Ron's corner telling him to run Shoney into the cage. Keep him trapped. Use that cage as a weapon. He got one in. Still in the mount with some shoulder strikes. Shoney trying to elevate, bumping. Trying to escape out the back door now. Now Ronald Jones in a dangerous position. Shoney can't get a knee bar from there. Ronald got great hips, man. Both these guys have great hips. Trying to escape out the back door. He's falling. Good movement. This is like chain wrestling. Non-stop transitions between Shoney Carter and Ronald Jun. Now Shoney on top. Now Shoney's got the advantage. Hey, this is a Hall of Fame match. Another fight that you wouldn't want to be a judge on. Uh, I wouldn't want to be involved in either. I wouldn't want to be in the cage or out of the cage. Have any involvement in this fight. Shoney now, the closing seconds of round three, looking to deliver some strikes to the target, being Ronald Jones. Got 10 seconds left. These guys just switch positions. One advantage goes to the other guy. Three rounds, two to go. Here, Shoney. Shoney. What's up? Shoney can't find his corner. He's a little delirious there. Took a couple it's good like hits. My got a little swelling. They're checking up, that up. swelling on him. Yeah. Come on, baby. We got to reach down. Okay? Uh, hey, we got on that. top. Just take our time. From here, we get inside. Just smash small arms. Stay tight because he's trying to scoot underneath. So for right here, just back this way, this way, and then this way. Okay? Come on. We're good. Okay? We got to get on top, though. We want to. Look like we want three of the rounds, but we got to stay on top. Okay? That's his only shot. Okay? 
We get on top, it's dead. Take our time. Looking at the replay. Look at this takedown. Ronald John looks like he was going to get it, and Carter reversed it the last second. Not even the last second, boy. That, that'll dishearten you. And now, Ronald John getting the slam. Carter now trying to return the favor. Doesn't quite work out for him. The hips of Ronald John working for him. Ronald turns his hips. I'm telling you, one guy does it, the other guy does it. Let's go. This is the fourth round of a championship fight in King of the Cage, Sin City. Larry Landless, a great referee. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. Let's go. That's a tough job being a referee in one of these fights. Kicking that lead leg of Shoney Carter is Ronald John. Big overhand right and followed by a left hook from Ronald John. That guy tries to get to cage. Trying to pull him down. Don't grab it. So after that quick exchange on the feet, Ronald John shooting and getting the takedown now. Now he's got the top position. He's in Shoney's guard. Shoney possibly leaning over there trying to get that Kimura. He might have a good grip on that arm. He's got to sweat. He's got to get hard. He's got to cut his hip for him and get it. And what does Ronald John need to do in this position in danger of the Kimura? Well, he's doing it. He's got to, you got to hold on to your own thigh at this time. And he's, he's got that going pretty good, you know. You hold on to your own thigh, you shove your hips down, use your own weight for your advantage. Yeah, basically, when you're in danger of a submission like that, I'd say it's best to remain calm, don't do anything stupid, and get it twisted around. Just hang out down there low and keep doing your thing. Remain calm, look good. That's it. Good rule to live by. Still going for that Kimura, look at it. Getting closer, but Ronald John doing a great job with his knee. Yeah, blocking on his knee, stepping around his own arm. Shoney's struggling for that thing. Oh, he's in danger. Ronald John now in danger of being Kimura. He's got to pop his hips. He's going to pop his hips. Ronald's in a great position. He's got that left leg out there stabilizing himself. Keep working, Shoney. Keep working, Shoney. Now, at, the, at this point, should Shoney Carter give up on the Kimura and save his energy? Or no, he still go? has it. Uh, or he's in the position. He may not have it, but he's in the position, so it shouldn't work it. But you also don't want to get tunnel vision. You don't want to get stuck in one hole. And then you uh, lose the opportunity for something else. Yeah, with tunnel vision on something like that, you might find a big left hand coming right down that tunnel. Right. Right now, he might, might want to think about letting go because he's trapped up against the fence. You get the car on, you want to be able to move your hips. It looks like they're sliding over. Shoney may get, get the top on the other side. <laughs> Ronald Jun content to defend that Kimura and deliver those left hands to the body of Shoney Carter. Shoney not wanting to give up that Kimura. He would like to end it. He's been working that thing for at least 60 seconds. I know he does it. I'm getting exhausted just watching. He's getting it up He's there. getting closer. He's getting something. Ronald got the arm extended. Ronald's got to make a move. This is it, the physical chess match of mixed martial arts on the ground. Some great grappling action. Shoney Carter oh, looking for that submission. Ronald over. John defending it and delivering the strikes. Now you got it. Now you got to be it. Now you now he could be in trouble. Carter getting closer. John trying to roll over. Carter trying to trap him with his left arm and now ends up on top in the mount. Now he's got he's got to work at a different angle. Still the same submission that Kimura putting all that pressure on the elbow and shoulder. Ronald John is in pain. He got the side. Both these guys are so wet though. Uh, you know, they're slip and slide all over each other. Now, Carter finally let go of that Kimura, but now he's on top in the side mount. He was a little bit of an illegal tactic with the knee, but you know, the referee caught it, but it wasn't bad enough for him to get a warning. Well, the rules are sometimes bendable. Oh, sometimes. 
Can't bend them, break them. Now Carter needs to do something. He was on the bottom for a couple minutes at the beginning of this round. He needs to strike back. Right. Rollins got to take it. Got to take a breather right now because he's got to get some blood flowing back in that arm. Coming in to the last 30 seconds of round four of this championship match. Shoney looking to pass that guard, trying to sweep across that leg. He's working hard, but I'll tell you, he, both these guys are pretty exhausted. This a reverse. Ten seconds left, back to their feet now. Shoney Carter and Ronald John clinched up against the fence. One more round to go, Don. This is a great fight. I'll tell you, this would be a main event fight on any card. Hey, baby, come on. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up, everybody. Hands up, everybody. If we ever need a one round, this is the round I need. Okay? This is the round we need. Hey, all we need to do is get on top and square up. Okay? Okay? Deep breath. Into your nose, out to your mouth. Into your nose, out to your mouth. Okay? Slow them down. We get on top, we ride this arm up perfectly, be square, be safe, and the Antarctica stay tight. Keep him in the cage, and we walk out of here with our belt, okay? Suck this round on, this is your whole career on this one round, okay? Everything you work for is on this one round, okay, baby? That's good words of advice. Now you get down to this point, you're exhausted. You need a little bit of motivation, he's giving you the right motivational factor right there. The fifth and final round, this welterweight championship fight coming up. The machine gun, Ronald Jun, taking on Mr. International, Shoney Carter. It's been back and forth. These two guys both just gave each other the thumbs up, Don, some great sportsmanship. They fought to a draw in the past. We'll see what's gonna happen this time. Right, last round, this is the four all. This is the last round, this is four and all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's rock and roll, let's go. Great fight. We're hoping for a great ending between these two warriors. Both these guys are gonna turn it up right now. Yeah, they're both exhausted. They're gonna, they're gonna sleep for a week. But these guys are gonna turn it on. This is where the better conditioned athlete has the advantage. There's a lot of mental strength too. Shoney swinging with a big left hook there. Going for the KO and a big knee to the body there from Ronald Jun. A great knee. And right to the point of the knee, right into the right little sperm. And it begin. But Shoney is dangerous from this clinch. He can strike from the clinch and grab a quick take here. Shoney's dangerous from any position. You know, he's right there and he's got great hip position. Oh, great kick. Shoney barely walked out. These two squaring each other up. These guys are exhausted. You know. They're fighting on pure pride right now at this point. This is where the heart, this is where all that sweat, all the blood that goes into the gym when you're training, this is where it pays off. The more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in combat, baby. As the old saying goes, Don, train hard, fight easy. I never heard that. <laughs> These guys are good. They're, they're both exhausted. Big slam. Great, great. Now that's got to be disheartening for Shoney Carter at this point. Yeah, he's exhausted. You can see it in his eyes. He'll, he'll go back for the Camaro again. Like his eyeball on it. Now for the people who have never been in the cage, when you're this tired, it's so disheartening. You tell your body, do this. I want to escape this way, and your body just does not react. It's, it's hard to explain to somebody if you've never been through it. All right, so that's like talking to your wife. <laughs> I'm saying something really plain and simple, and she's ignoring the whole thing. I love you, honey. This thing's not on. Right Got him pinned up against the fence now. Shoney going, Shoney going for the arm on the, the other side. Grab your inside tie, Half time. Halfway through this fifth and final round of the King of the Cage welterweight championship fight. Ronald Jun wants to hold on and keep Shoney Carter on the bottom, keep striking, and ground and pound that victory. So far, Ronald's got this round. 
But the way these guys have been fighting the whole fight you know, in the previous four rounds, you know, this thing could switch up in a second. The positions could be reversed at any moment. Yeah, the first two and a half minutes, and you'll think last. Yeah, they're, not, they're, they're not greedy, they'll share. Yeah, but now we're down to two, so uh, two set theory down, eh? Larry's getting a little bored with it. Paul Steele made here. Larry's got the best view of the fight in the house. He knows that these guys are working to an advantage. <laughs> John was trying to maintain that side now. Shoney keeps moving, turning away from him. Not really giving Ronald the opportunity to strike. Right. But so far, June's in control. He's controlled this, this whole last round. Now, Ronald John in the mount. The last couple seconds coming up here of round five. This championship minute, fight, if minute. it's going to happen for Shoney Carter, it has to happen right now, Don. Yeah. It looks like uh, Shoney was just too exhausted for this last fight. <laughs> Four-round fight, it would have been a split decision. But uh, he just lost, lost this last round. Shoulder strike to the face of Sony Carter. Less than a minute left for Ronald John. He just wants to keep control here. Don't make any mistakes. Finish off the round strong. He's smart. He's smart. Crowd's getting a little unhappy, a little restless, but uh, Ronald's doing everything correct. He's working just hard enough to, so that Larry won't break him. He's doing exactly what he needs to do to win this fight. Body, body, head there, body, body, head. Keep the punches coming. Last couple seconds coming up. Last 10 seconds. Shoney going for it, last moment. It might be too little, too late. It's over. Never a better feeling than when the fight's over. All those weeks and hours of training, this is where you're happy about it. You're so glad you put all that effort into it. Yeah, you can see the disappointment on Shoney's face. He knows what the decision's going to be. This is a great fight. Our hats are off to both of these welterweight warriors, Shoney Carter and Ronald Chun. Joni down on a knee, standing back up. He's exhausted, as is Ronald Jun. Their second fight. The first one was a draw. The second fight here. Yeah, there's no question on this one. Like I said, if it had been a four-rounder, it would have been Christ. Joni's exhausted. Got a busted blood vessel there on the right side of his head. Nice, but can they cook? I guess you can always order pizza, right? Some of our beautiful fans here at King of the Cage in Vegas. <laughs> Shoney's wiped out, boy. I tell you what, he had a gas tank and he, he used it all. Empty this tank. 25 minutes is a long, long fight, Don. You've been in some long battles yourself. I, uh, I tell you, you feel every minute of it, every second of it. You're not sad to hear that. You're not sad to hear that bell when it ends. And now for the official announcement, let's listen in to Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action here at the Orleans Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Judge A scores the bout 48 to 46. Judge B scores the bout 49 to 45. And Judge C scores the bout 48 to 46 for your winner by unanimous decision and new King of the Cage, World Welterweight Champion, Ronald the Machine Gun Judge. Great fight. That guy deserves to be a champion. I'll guarantee you that right now. He's going to have a happy ride home. Whole oh, Island Hawaii is jumping up and down right now.
Ronald Chun couldn't be happier. Everyone back in the 808 state is happy for their hometown boy. The Machine Gun coming through after a five-round battle with Mr. International, Shoney Carter.